We're with Kevin at Empire Horse Boxes, looking at, uh, this horse box is only 12 months old, isn't it? It's, yes. it's quite new. If um, someone's looking at this, thinking about buying a, a used horse box, yeah. what kind of advice would you give them? What kind of things can they look for to make sure that they get a really good horse box and not, you know, not something that's not, not so good? Major problems with used horse boxes, to be honest, if I was, because it's easy for me to say because we build them day and day. Yeah, yeah. But a normal, you know, general public going to look at a lorry, I would, the main points to look for is the horse area floor. Okay. Because a lot of manufacturers try and cut corners by putting wooden floors in. Well, I'm sorry, but horse wee and wood don't go. No, I think that's so fair. Major problems because we took a horse box in part exchange years and years ago and one of the horses fell through it. We're liable, so obviously... Oh, my Lord. So that, that really experience. does happen. It's not yes. just an yeah, urban not, legend. It no, really no, does it happen. It does happen. It's a major problem. Another major problem is is the sides. A lot of... This is obviously a coach-built lorry, aluminium sides. Yeah. They won't go rusty. No. But a lot of problems are if they're the GRP construction, which is a fibreglass-based timber. That's what GRP means? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Glassonides, reinforced ply. That's exactly oh, okay. what it means. Okay. And a lot of the sides are rotten. Right, so, okay. Not being funny, a lot of customers who are trying to get rid of their lorry, they'll probably have a paint job on it. So if there was a new paint job, I'd be a bit wary. Okay. Because it's What's it's it covering, telling you it's covering sort of up. Thing? Um and you know, realistically, obviously because it's a commercial vehicle, if you know a mechanic or somebody who can physically go and have a look at it, you know, mechanical wise, do, it does do help. That. We are always willing to go and with any customer, they haven't got to come and buy our lorry. Customer rings me and asks if I'll go and have a look at a lorry with them, I will gladly go and have a look at a lorry with them. Great, so there is expert yeah, advice there yeah, if they just pick up the phone and speak to someone. Ask. If you don't ask, you don't get. No, that's, it's as simple that's as that. true. And that's all I can say, really. Just be very, very careful. In terms of, like, obviously we're saying it's, you know, it's a vehicle, it's not just a horse box, so do they have sort of service histories like cars too? Or is some it do, different? some do, some don't, to be honest. It, it depends if you've had the lorry from new which, to be honest, a lot of people don't have a brand new lorry. No, no. I mean, this is like a, a brand new body. Yeah. But the chassis is still four years old. Oh, OK. Because right. there's no point, you know, spending, having a brand new front. No. Because they don't do the miles, like, it, you know, like the new hauliers up and down the motor no. all day. No, absolutely. They're not using these 24 hours a day like they are a, a normal truck. No. So you can get the price down on the lorry by having a four to five year old chassis oh okay and having a brand new body and then when it's painted it looks exactly the same anyway yeah that's so true. you know to be fair if you buy a brand new lorry that's been built in a horse box you probably would get a service history but nine times out of ten because they've been a used commercial vehicle before they've been built yeah sometimes you don't know where they've been okay we tend to buy all our lorries from the main commercial agents i.e. Okay. Caltrop for Scania right i.e. So you do know where it's been. But okay. Not being funny, a lot of horse box manufacturers, a lot of horse box manufacturers, to be honest, have got a very, very bad name. Because yeah. they tend to, you know, the reputation that goes with it, I don't know why, but, you know, we try to be honest. Definitely. Always have been. And what doesn't speak doesn't lie. That's all I can say, really. No, that's true. As I say, if anybody needs any help, basically speak to somebody in the know. So they can just give I mean, someone like yourself a yep. ring, yep. even if they don't want to. But don't you know? They don't. They've seen a horse box they like in yes. in the paper or yep. on the internet. Yep. They can just give someone like you a ring yep. and say, "Go, I'm sure you any, have a look." Well, obviously, horse box manufacturers know each other. Yeah. And I've known different companies down Surrey, Brighton. Oh, okay. You know, somebody's a customer's been down there, rung me up, and I've passed the phone number on of a oh. different manufacturer, and they've gone out. And, you know, sort oh, of them great. out. So there really That's what is about. That yeah, there. You know, we're, we're all here to try and help each other. No, definitely. You know, life's cruel enough, isn't it, really? <laughs> but that's about all I'm certain, that's really. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. No problem.